Hi, what's on YouTube? It's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video. Today's video is gonna be a short and simple video. I'm gonna be teaching you all some different poses for Instagram. And as you all know, I've been posting like twice a day on my Instagram, which is at Dom Hadley underscore. And a load of you have been asking for like a tutorial on the different types of poses. So for today, I'm gonna to show you some standing poses. So let's jump into it. So for the first pose, you wanna make yourself the center point, as you can see right between the two pillars to add some symmetry. You wanna keep your feet shoulder width apart, look straight ahead and keep your shoulders and arms nicely relaxed. And if you wanna mix it up a bit, you can look to either side. So moving on to the second pose, this looks better when you take it from a slight angle instead of straight on, makes you look a little bit taller and adds more depth of feel to the outfit. So basically you wanna step back and whichever side is kind of your better side, so my first seat is my left hand side, turn it a little bit to the side and you put your leg out and it makes you look a little bit taller. You take the photo from a little bit of a lower angle and it adds some more height to your whole body. And then the opposite side, this is your good side, then you shoot this way. So now we've finished with the first two poses there, the really simple ones that any of you can do. It's time to add in some movement. If you add in some movement into your photos, it just makes the photo look kind of cooler, looks more candid and natural. So the first one I want to show you is called like the fake step. So you basically turn to an angle, you put one leg back on its toes and then you put one forward and you kind of like turn your body a bit so it looks like a natural movement. Turn your body usually aim to not look at the camera. I feel like when you look away, it kind of looks more of a normal step and you can kind of practice it, you like bounce on your toe and it just pulls off really nicely. Like the arm movement just adds so much more character to the pose and you can do it on the opposite way. So you just bounce on this one and you turn a bit this way. So coming now to the fourth pose and this is the kind of model catwalking paparazzi shot. So you do a fake walk and you kind of walk at a 30 degree angle either way. and I'd advise looking away from the camera, just adds a bit more of an aesthetic. Another cool thing with walking shots is the wind kind of blows out your jacket, adds some more movement to any of your photos. So another thing to really improve your posing is to feel natural and comfortable. For example, when I was doing that walking pose, walk as natural and normal as possible. Don't try and do like bigger strides and like bigger movements. Sometimes that can really work, but if you look uncomfortable, you'll be able to see it in your posture and your posing. So try and just be relaxed as possible and you'll be able to come out with better poses. So moving on to the fifth pose, this one's really simple. You lean against something and you just cross one leg over the other. You can cross your arms and it looks seamlessly stylish. You can even put your hand in your pocket and look either way. Moving on to the next posing, we are moving on to the half body shots, the portraits. And a good thing to incorporate in your posing is using your hands. Like they're really good, they're a part of your body and it can add some more like extra detail, make the photo look a lot more cooler. So one is putting like your hand in your hair. You get a good tilt on your head too, so it shows off your jawbone better. And you can do it on the opposite side. It just adds some extra different poses to kind of your Instagram, it kind of spices it up a little bit. And you can also do your hands like on each of the sleeves to so play with your clothing, shows off the outfit a bit more, get some natural creases. Crossing your arms is also a good one. And also holding your hands out together, it really shows out the accessories like your rings. Moving on to the final tip and the final type of posing and that is adapting with your clothing. So I'm shooting fashion content. So for example, I'm wearing this Fendi Zucker jacket. We can see it has the details of the hood so I can hold the hood up and get a good photo. It also has the zipper so if I fully zip it, I can hold the zipper up. We also have the pockets and the good thing as well, you can get some good natural movement by putting your hands in the pockets. Then another accessory which everyone should have on them, it is a phone. A phone is a really good way to take like a kind of candid photo so you don't have to look at the camera. So you've seen it all over Instagram, people pretending to text, whether they're sitting standing or even pretending they're on the phone. I personally don't like this one. I think it looks a bit too fake. It doesn't look that natural, but personal preference. And then the other bits you can use, for example, my rings, again, if I want to show them, a good way is to kind of hold the middle part of your jacket. For example, if you're wearing a bag, you can hold the bag strap, that is really good. Or even hold your chain. So you can hold your chain, shows off the rings and your jewelry, and just adds a different pose to your outfits. So that is a wrap. That is my standing tips on how to pose better for your Instagram content, or whether it be if you're getting into modeling, 
If this video helped you and it was some advice and you learned some new things, be sure to give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Also comment down below if you want to see a part two and I'll do like a sitting poses, like sitting, squatting, streetwear, etc. I would have done it today, but it's absolutely tipping it down outside. So I'm not going to be sitting on the floor today. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on my Instagram. It's at Hadley underscore. It's where I post all my fits and my pickups. And if you do any of these poses and learn anything, be sure to tag me and I'll repost them on my story. I think that's about it. I mean, is there anything else? And if you're into men's fashion content, be sure to check out the rest of my videos. I post two videos a week, one midweek and one every single Sunday. Have a nice day and I'll see you all in the next one.